in the verdant tropical landscape of Panama's Caribbean coast, a treasure trove of history awaits. The fortifications of the Caribbean coast of Panama, a world heritage site since 1980, stands as a testament to the country's rich architectural prowess of the 17th and 18th centuries. Yet, despite their grandeur and cultural significance, these majestic forts have been on the list of world heritage in danger since 2012. The good news is, Panama has taken swift action to restore and preserve them. The restoration of the San Jerónimo and San Lorenzo forts, in addition to the construction of a visitor center, are some of the projects under development to shore up the great cultural and tourist potential of the fortifications of the Caribbean coast of Panama. These initiatives, made possible through funds from the Inter-American Development Bank, seek to achieve the desired state of conservation of these magnificent prototypes of military architecture, while also highlighting their immense cultural and tourism potential. The largest project currently underway with the Ministry of Culture is the first phase of the restoration of the castle of San Lorenzo Real de Chagres. This project, with an investment of close to $5 million, involves conservation work on part of the fortress walls, emergency works aimed at consolidating floors and the North Bastion, and the setting up of a museum in three of the vaults of the fortress. Maintenance and consolidation work is being carried out at the San Jerónimo and Santiago forts, with some bracing work scheduled for the San Fernando fort this year. The San Jerónimo Conservation Project includes consolidation of the high battery walls, the walls of the redoubt, restoration of the Bolvarin and the redoubt vault, and the construction of breakwaters to protect against the ravages of the sea, among others. Restoration of the Portobello Customs House is almost complete, while the Ministry of Culture already has the plans for the restorations of San Jerónimo, San Fernando and the first updating studies in Santiago, projects that must be submitted to bidding. In addition to the restoration, a visitor centre is being built about five miles from the entrance of the San Lorenzo Fort, a project that should be ready by the beginning of 2024. These forts play a critical role in Panama's rich cultural past and the potential for responsible and sustainable tourism. They are part of the colonial Transithmian route of Panama, a proposed UNESCO World Heritage List entry that includes the archaeological site of Panama Viejo and the historic district of Panama, as well as the colonial roads that unite them, the Camino de Cruces and the Camino Real. The fortifications of the Caribbean coast of Panama offer a combination of cultural and natural heritage of great value and are treasures well worth visiting firsthand.